the most long-awaited series is finally here. This is a ticket system in Discord.py or Nextcord as I'm using for here. Anyways, let's get straight into a video. Going to be using Nextcord to create this buttons uh, ticket system. And as long as it uses Discord.py 2.0 buttons or like the way those work, whatever lib library that you use should be fine as long as you know it hasn't changed anything in that. But what I'm going to start off by doing is actually removing by on ready function. And that's because we're going to create our own bot handler. So we're going to create class bot commands.bot. And in here, we're going to initialize this class. So in it and do self and then pass in args and then coargs. Now that we have those inside here, we're going to do super dot in it and then args and the same thing there. And then we're going to sell. We're going to create an actual variable, which is self dot persistent views added. Or and by the way, for this, I'm going to be using the next chord examples. So yeah, I'm just letting you know that, which are like I guess in the docs. Okay, and then we're going to create our on ready function. So we're just going to do async def on ready, and here we're going to do if not self dot persistent views added, then we can do self dot add underscore view, which is and do passing create ticket which is going to be a class we haven't created the class yet which is this is going to be a buttons class and we're going to do that soon and then we're going to do self dot persistent views added equals true and lastly what we're going to do is we're going to just print something like guys up and ready logged in as self dot user and over here, we're also going to add another print statement, just confirming that the persistent views have been added. Okay. Now that we have that, we can actually create, we have to change this. So instead of bots, command, commands.bot, we're just going to remove the commands dot, and we're going to reference this class over here. And then we're going to create a command. So at bot.command. Now the way this ticket system is going to work is essentially you would run this one command and it would set everything up by itself. So it's going to be kind of complex, but it shouldn't be too hard to code. So don't worry about that. Now we're going to do manage underscore guild equals true. And here we can do async def and we're going to create a command name. So whatever you want. So set up tickets, something like that. And we're just going to pass in CTX for this. Now, the reason I did manage guild is I want a moderator to be able to set this up so not just anybody can run this command and set it up for the guild. That's the only reason I'm doing it. And then we're going to do next code.embed. We're going to create an embed. And you could do this whatever you want. So I'm just going to do create a ticket. And in the description, I can write something like click the create ticket button below to create a ticket servers staff will shortly be applied problem okay something really simple like this once again this can be whatever you'd like it to be uh don't if you want you can just copy whatever i wrote or if you want you could add whatever you wrote or create it by yourself and we're just going to send this message by doing ctx.send embed equals embed and we're going to actually do view equals create ticket and remember that's a class now you might be seeing these errors create ticket is not defined create ticket is not defined and i actually spelled it wrong here and that's why we're going to be creating the function right now or actually class my fault so what we're going to be doing to create the class is class create ticket i've had a i already have a video on buttons so if you want to check that out go ahead it should be on the little i top right in the corner so if you don't know how buttons work then you can check that out so we're going to just create this um 
buttons class real quick by doing def init, which is going to be the initialize function, pass in self, and nothing too special here. And we're just going to do super dot or super dot init. And over here, we're going to set a timeout. And that's going to be none because the way persistent views work is even if you say get rid or turn off the bot after you ran this command the second you turn it back on the buttons will still work and that's why we want it because we don't want people just to keep on having to click this command again or use the command again so we just want them to use the command once and whenever the bot's online it will still work that's why we have to go through this we have to make a custom bot class and all of this Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a button. So by doing button, and we're going to create that discriminator. So now inside here, we're going to do label equals create ticket. So this is wherever you want the button to be called. For our case, I'm just going to do create ticket. And you have to, we're also going to pass in two other parameters. So the style is going to be how you want the button to look. I'm going to do nextcore.button style. And then I'm going to do blurple. You can choose out of red, green, gray, and I think blurple. I think those are the four. And then we're also going to have to add a custom ID. So this is required for any persistent view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like create ticket, right? Which is the function name. Heck, I'll even add an underscore in here. Create ticket and then blurple which is the style. Now that we have that, what we can do is we can do async def, create a function for the button. So this but function will run whenever we actually click the button. So we're gonna pass in two arguments, which is gonna be nextcore.ui.button, and then interaction also, which is gonna be nextcore.interaction. Simple as that. And now, right now, we're, we're not going to really set anything up for um, the button, but we will soon. So. so when you click this button for now, just for to add something in here, it's going to send a small message to whoever clicked it. So response, interaction.response.send message. And all we're going to send is a ticket being created. And we're going to turn on Mfurial. So only the whoever clicked the button can actually see it. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to run this and let's hop into Discord. Okay, so here I am in my Discord. I'll uh, link down below in the description. Please join. I'm really trying to get to a thousand members. So if I were to do help right now, you'll see that we have one command available, which is set up tickets. So I can run set up underscore tickets. And it will prompt us with our embed. So now I can click this create ticket embed and it'll say ticket is being created. This is just a regular embed. I think you've all seen this before. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rerun the bot. So I just turned off the bot. Okay, so I turned off the bot. For some reason, it's still showing it's online. I guess just because it hasn't updated yet. But if I were to, I guess, actually click the button, you'll see that it does not work. It says this interaction failed because the bot's not even online. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to turn it back on. And as I'm doing this right now, now what we can do is type help and you'll see that it's still on, right? So if I were to click this button again, now it works because we have persistent views enabled so that we can do. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and until next time, glow stick out. See ya.